the Atari.io button is back because it's June 26th and every 26th of the month, Atari.io celebrates Atari Day. And we're going to celebrate by playing Millipede for the Atari 2600. So let's go ahead and take Millipede. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and get rid of those pesky pests. Let's go to the game. Millipede was published by Atari and released in 1984, the same year the Detroit Tigers won the World Series and all was right in the world. It is a port of the 1982 Atari arcade follow-up to Centipede. The 2600 version programming was headed up by Dave Stalgus, who also programmed Crawl for the 2600, which I reviewed in episode 262. I'll put a link to that review in the description below. The manual opens with the following. An army of menacing millipedes, cousins to the famed centipede, have invaded your garden patch, and you must shoot arrows at them to rid your plot of these pesky pests. But wait, the millipedes aren't the only insidious insects you have to destroy. Jumping spiders, buzzing bees, bouncing beetles, mosquitoes, dragonflies, inchworms, and earwigs all have unique and deadly powers of their own. Millipede is a bug shooting game for one player only. You can start the game with zero points, 15,000 points, or 30,000 points. Every time you pass another 15,000 points up to 300,000 points, you can continue the game from that point total after using your last life. The game is very similar in setup to Centipede, where you move in the lower quarter of the screen with your joystick and hold down the button to fire. Your main nemesis is the millipede. Shooting a segment gets you 10 points and leaves behind a mushroom worth a single point. Shooting the head gets you 100 points. If a segment reaches the bottom, additional segments can be added to the field. Clear all the segments to start the next wave. One of the biggest additions to Millipede is the DDT. Jake the Snake would be proud. Shooting DDT gets you 800 points and creates a poisonous cloud. Any insect that touches it dies and their value is tripled when this happens. Spiders appear at the bottom of the screen. They are worth 300 to 1200 points each. The closer you are when you hit them, the more they are worth. Beetles crawl in a pattern and are worth 300 points apiece. Bees can add mushrooms in straight lines and are worth 200 points. Mosquitoes look like flying X's. Shooting one gets you 400 points and pushes the screen back one row. Inchworms are only worth 100 points, but if you hit one, it will temporarily slow down the action. Dragonflies are worth 500 points apiece and can leave behind mushrooms and wavy lines. Earwigs are worth 1,000 points each, and if they reach the end of the screen, they will turn all the mushrooms they touch into poisonous flowers, which causes millipede segments to charge down the screen when they touch one. Sometimes bugs will come in swarms. Whenever you shoot more than one bug during a swarm, their value will increase 100 points each time up to a maximum of 1,000 points per bug. When you die, you get 5 points for every poisonous flower and every 3 mushrooms left on the screen. Every time you earn 15,000 points, you get an extra life. Graphically speaking, while you and the mushrooms are just blocks, I like the look of the various insects. I also like the various sounds with one major exception. When you die, a buzzer sound occurs, which I personally find to be one of the most annoying sounds found in an Atari 2600 game. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating it for least a day because killing icky bugs is always in good taste. Currently at PriceTrying.com, the game has a value of $7 loose, $13 complete, and $14 new. So what did I think of Millipede? Outside of the annoying buzzer sound, I found this to be a very enjoyable game and a true upgrade to Centipede. Even though this was a trackball game in the arcade, this version controls very well with the joystick. I like how you could continue and all the various new wrinkles they added to the game. In short, Atari took one of my favorite games on the system in Centipede and made it even better. So where am I going to rank Millipede? As you probably can guess, this one's going to be pretty high, somewhere in the top 20. I do like Frogger more at 19, but I will put this over Roadrunner at 20. So the 209 games I've now ranked for the Atari 2600, Millipede is blasting bugs at the 20 position. Millipede is a fun game that improves on the original. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash nosweargamer, just like Jose Q did, to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Noswear Gamer. Take care and have a very happy Atari day.